really the only repairable mechanical condition is if you have a locked compressor. Which a locked compressor, ideally, is a compressor that has really nothing wrong with it other than it's either set too long or it started to have some loss of oil, uh, whatever, where it's actually just seized up. But there's nothing mechanically broken inside of it yet. It's just seized. Uh, you'll know that because it'll pull locked rotor amps when you go to start it, which will be listed somewhere on it. So if you start it up, you'll hear it eh, kick off just like it would if it had a bad capacitor. You check the capacitor, it checks fine. If you put your amp clamp on the common leg, you'll get ridiculously high amps for the three, four seconds, two seconds, whatever, until it overheats. If you want to confirm that that is locked rotor amps, like I say, that'll be listed on the actual compressor. So you can see that it's locked. At that point, it shouldn't be locked unless it's cycled off. Make sure it doesn't have high head pressure on it locking it. Occasionally that'll happen where it actually has something resisting it to start initially. But at that point, it's locked. And so you sort of have to see if you can unlock it. But at that point, we do need to always say, no matter what we say, the compressor has locked, which it should not do. Now they do, but they aren't designed to lock. What are some potential reasons that a compressor would lock? Really only three that I can think of. It hasn't been used in a super duper long time. Right, most common would be if it just hasn't run in a while. Second would be, like you said, if it had overheated. And so what's happened to that is that the oil has actually started to break down a little bit. And so now when it turns off, the components do actually start to seize a little bit or they're a little bit off or the internal seals on a reciprocating compressor are there. Uh, or third would be what I had said before where if it has there's certain systems that when they cycle off will actually hold some head pressure they don't equalize perfectly and so the head pressure the high side pressure is naturally resisting that startup and so when they start up they just need a start assist to get everything flowing again to prevent them from locking up. And fourth, oil migration could cause it. Uh, potential causes of oil migration would be if the condenser is just abnormally, for whatever reason, higher than the air handler. Oil migration can sometimes be a problem, which is a rarity, but it happens. Um, if an accumulator doesn't actually have internally, they have like a dip tube that sort of feeds the oil back. If that has clogged, that can cause oil migration. Uh, oil migration is a difficult thing to test. How do you test that the compressor is completely out of oil? You usually <laughs> don't, other than that it's burned through a lot of compressors. Yeah, so once you have determined that your compressor is locked, then you have to attempt to unlock it. Now it is important to remember that the compressor was locked, so no matter what you do, you always want to let someone know the compressor was locked, and whatever we're doing to fix it isn't restoring it to perfect condition, and now everything will be great. There's things that you can do that do usually fix the problem, but you can't ever be like, oh, hey, now I've put in a hard start kit and everything's great. Um, which brings us to the primary way you unlock one, is you put what's called a hard start kit on it, which is just a very, it's a start assist capacitor, so it applies, for lack of a better word, high voltage to it uh, for a few seconds right at startup just to start it turning and then it has a relay that once it senses that it's run it kicks it back off. It's either a time relay or actually senses current. And so a lot of times we'll put in, a, normally we'll say start with a small hard start. Start it up, see if it starts. If it doesn't, switch to a larger one. If it still doesn't, put both a small and a larger one. If it still doesn't, unhook the fan and while it's starting, tap on it with a hammer while it goes to start just to see if you can break it loose. Anytime you use a hard start to break something loose, allow it to run for a little bit, 15, 20 minutes, turn it off, let everything equalize, then allow it to try to restart. First, I would say try to let it restart without anything if it's set for a while. If it's been running and they say all at once it stopped working, you're probably going to leave some form of hard start on it. But do make sure that it does seem to be able to cycle off and on now with the hard start. Um, and hopefully everything's fine. Sometimes you will have one that's locked and you simply can't unlock it. And at that point, it is just a locked compressor. Document every way that you tried to unlock it and, uh, and just go from there. A locked compressor, anytime you're recommending replacing a compressor due to a locked compressor, you do always want to explain that process to the homeowner that the compressor's locked, someone else may come along and try to do something more aggressive to break it loose and maybe be successful. I've tried everything that I know how. 
but a lock compressor isn't something where I can say I 100% know that no matter what anyone else comes to do, they can't fix this compressor. You can just say that I've done everything that I know how to unlock it, and certainly at this point, if I unlocked it, the odds that everything works great afterwards seem pretty low. Thank you.